Lovely. Uh, friends and strangers, friends, acquaintances and strangers, I found this to be incredibly tough in the moment, solving there. Now I made a series of mistakes. Um, Try to put together a solution which should be reasonable to, to follow. But I must confess that uh, I made a, made a mess of this. Right. Anyway, I start with this. Amuda, Bharatan, Chandra, Dinesh, Eril, Fani and Gautam. That is A, B, C, D, E, F and G. Seven people. Are seven people in a town. Any pair of them could either be strangers, acquaintances or friends. All relationships are mutual. So if A and B are friends, A is B is friend, B is A is friend. So we don't have an issue where I think I'm his friend but he doesn't think like that. All relationships are mutual. For example, if Amuda is a friend of Bardhan, then Bardhan is also a friend of Amuda. Similarly, if Amuda is a stranger to Bardhan, then Bardhan is also a stranger to Amuda. So there's no ghosting happening here. Partial information about the number of friends, acquaintances and strangers of each of these people among them is given in the table below. Nice. So far, so good. So Amuda has one acquaintance and four strangers. Amuda should have a relationship with six people. So one acquaintance and four strangers, that means it should be one. Each of, the, each of these rows should add up to six. Right. So this is two, this is three, this should be one. Gautam has a relationship with six people. 3 plus 2 is 5. This is 1, 6. The rest I don't think we can fill. Obviously, this is not the only piece of jigsaw. There should be more that's available. Let's let's see what else is given. The following additional facts are also known. Amuda, Bharatan and Chandran are mutual strangers, which helps. Amuda, Dinesh and Fani are Eril's friends. Chandran and Gautam are friends. Every friend of Amuda is an acquaintance of Bharatan and every acquaintance of Bharatan is a friend of Amuda. Every friend of Bharatan is an acquaintance of Amuda and every acquaintance of Amuda is a friend of Bharatan. Both are just the same, flipped two ways. I think it's just a bit to throw us off our game a little bit. So let's, let's fill in whatever we know. Amuda, Bharatan and Chandran are mutual friends. I followed an approach where I thought I would draw links two ways. Establishing friends, strangers and uh, acquaintances. Uh, different forms of straight lines and curved lines and dotted lines it became too, consume, too confusing in the, in the exam hall. Uh, and then shifted to the table approach. What am I going to do? I'm going to say Amuda, Bharatan and Chandran are mutual strangers. For Amuda, Bharatan and Chandran are strangers. So let's put B and C here. For Bharatan, Amuda and Chandran are strangers, A and C. For Chandran, Amuda and Bharatan are strangers, A and B. Nice. Amuda, Dinesh and Fani are Eril's friends. So Eril's friends are A, D, F. Every time I put an entry, I'll put a corresponding entry. E and A are friends. A is E's friend. E is A's friend. A and E and D are friends. So D and D are friends. E and F are friends. F and D are friends. This helps. Chandran and Gautam are friends. So C and G, G and C. But it really helps us simplify because once we mark this out, the next thing that we can do is say, hey, all the friends have been accounted for, all friends have been accounted for, only one one. So funny is not friends with anybody apart from Eril. Gautam is not friends with anybody apart from Chandran. So we can close this out, not worry about this anymore. Right? We fill this much and then we'll, we'll try to keep adding layer after layer to this, include this. Both of these are practically the same constraint, include this and then tweak this around. Right. So far so good, we've done all of this. Every acquaintance of Amuda is an acquaintance of Bharatan and every acquaintance of Bharatan, sorry, every friend of Amuda is an acquaintance of Bharatan and every acquaintance of Bharatan is a friend of Amuda. So to start with, this E should come here. This one should be one, this should be one, this is four. The numbers have to mirror each other. Right? This is useful because now Amudan has one friend, done. Bharatan has one friend, which is not A, which is not C, because A and C are accounted for here, which is not E, because E is an acquaintance. We have D, F, G remaining. F and G have been accounted for or Bharatan's friend, the one friend that Bharatan has is D. So I put, once we put a D here, we should put a B here. Lovely. So this D sits here. This is super helpful because we have now knocked this off, knocked this off, knocked this off, knocked this off completely. Right? Let's build on this. So 
So B should be friends with D. This implies D should be friends with B as well. So this is a D goes here, B goes here. This will be D and, and A would sit here. Nice, wonderful. Let's see if we can, we can build further on this. So this automatically means we can fill out the four numbers here. A is friends with E and D. With the other four, you should be acquaintances. B, C, F, G. So F and G we can put. So on both F and G, we would add A. B is acquaintance strangers with A and C. And then D and D get accounted for. Once again, F and G. So A, C, F, G. So this should be B. This should be B. That means this is accounted for completely. Gautam has only two people who are strangers to him. That is A and B. Gautam has one person who is friend with him. That is C. So A, B, C are accounted for. D, E, F are acquaintances. So I'm going to put D, E, F. So D and G are acquaintances. So this should be G. E and G are acquaintances. There should be a G here. F and G are acquaintances. There should be a G here. Nice. So this is 2 here, 2 here. That number 2 is there. So 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6. That means this is complete. Put a number 2 here. This is complete. Put a number 2 here. A, B are accounted for. E, G are accounted for. C and F remain. So put C, F here. This, this 2 is also accounted for. I've put C and F here. So in C, I should put D. In F, again, I should put D. Lovely. So A, B, D go there. So this is complete. This is complete. This is complete. This is complete. A, D, F and B, G are here. A, B. E is already accounted for. D, F, G. A, D, F, B, G are there. C is not accounted for. So there goes a C here. If C is here, then E should be here. So now this is completely accounted for. This should be 2. This should be 3. This is done. This is done. A, B, D, E, that makes it 4. So this is 1. This is 1. A, B, D, E are accounted for. A, B, C, D, E are done. G is covered. F is missing. So this should be F. If this is F, there should be a, a C here. So this is accounted for, this is accounted for, this is accounted for. A is complete, B is complete, C is complete, D is complete, E is complete, F is also complete. This is 2, this is 3, which must mean G is also complete. This is complete, this is complete. So we fill the entire grid out. It seems uh, swimmingly easy. It was not at all this easy in the context and pressure of an examination thing. So we, the, the, the way of mapping here, we put A and E, then automatically we should put E and A. Every relationship is mutual. So you put A, B, one link, put, put B in front of A, mix with A, then A should go with B. So mix, put them together like that, then it should get simplified. So inch by inch, so just a quick recap. So B, C, F, G are strangers to A, A, C, F, G are strangers to B. So F and G here, F and G here which automatically means A and B here, A and B here, which means this is complete, A, B, C are done, this is D, E, F here. If this is D, E, F here, in D we put a G, in E we put a G, in F we put a G, which means this is, these two add up to two, 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 complete, A, B, C is missing, D, E, G, C and F, this should be C and F. C and F go here, so in C there should be a D, in F there should be a D. And then we complete slowly. No, who sees acquaintance F? Now we have completed the grid. Once we complete the grid, answering question should be pretty straightforward. Who are Gautam's acquaintances? D E F. Dinesh, Edel, and Fani. Which of these pairs share the same type of relationship? Bharadan, Chandran, BC are strangers. Dinesh, Dinesh, Edel, 
ಡಿ ಇ ಆರ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ನಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚಂದ್ರನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಡಿಲ್ ಸಿ ಇ ಸಿ ಇ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಂಜರ್ಸ್ ದಿನೇಶ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗೌತಮ್ ಡಿ ಜಿ ಆರ್ ಅಕ್ವೈಂಟೆಂಟರ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಮುದ ಅಂಡ್ ಗೌತಮ್ ಅಮುದ ಅಂಡ್ ಗೌತಮ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಂಜರ್ಸ್ ಇ ಎಂಡ್ ಎಫ್ ಎಡಿಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫನಿ ಆರ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಭರದನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಡಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಎಂಡ್ ಇ ಆರ್ ಅಕ್ವೈಂಟೆಂಟರ್ಸ್ ಫನಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಗೌತಮ್ ಎಫ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಜಿ ಆರ್ ಅಕ್ವೈಂಟೆಂಟರ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಕ್ both are acquainted once you've got the whole table just looking at that and answering the question very doable who is an acquaintance of amuda d dinesh none who is an acquaintance of chandran chandran's acquaintance f funny none how many friends does edil have edil has three friends a d f again simple how many people are either a friend or a friend of friend of edil friend is adf that's in the bag a's friend is e b's friend is d and f's friend is e again so how many are either a friend or a friend of a friend of of edil edil has three friends a d f a has e as a friend b has d as a friend f has e as a friend so friend or friend of a friend give me a second of edil edil has three friends a d f a has e a has e d has b and f has e so a d f and b i made this beautiful mistake and i counted e also and i said a d f e b that doesn't work friend or a friend of a friend that means i shouldn't be counting the person himself so i marked 5 for this because i counted a d f b all right and i counted e also because there's an e sitting here and an e sitting here so i counted e as a friend of a friend of e which is rather silly so i should have counted only 4 the answer is 4 